Well, this happens to be my most favorite time of year. And it's my favorite time because it's all the family getting together. There's just a lot of joy out there. And we get to give. And I love to give. And I bet you you have loved ones, friends, families that love to give also. But they want to give to you. And you are probably the most difficult person in their eyes to get a gift for. Well, this week, I'm going to help you guys out, okay? So be sure to share this video with all your friends and families so they can get an idea of what you might like to find in your Christmas stocking this year. So, I'm Amy Astro and welcome to my channel. Alright guys, so I have some great stocking stuffer gift ideas for you. All of them are fairly inexpensive, they're easy to find whether you buy them on Amazon, Home Depot, Walmart, Harbor Freight, our favorite store you know. And these are going to be inexpensive items so they won't break the bank, but they're things that you are going to love to find Christmas morning in your stocking stuffer. And it's just those little things, you know, that you always need when you least expect it. You know, you're out on the field and something breaks and you're like, oh, I wish I had an extra one. Or boy, this would be easier if I had just this one item. Well, I'm going to show you 11 of my favorite stocking stuffer ideas. And these items are pretty much less than $10 each. Okay? So... Let's start with very simple here. This will fit definitely in any stocking stuffer. So this will fit in any stocking for you. Now I've got a handful of these and these are wire clips. They are wonderful for cable management. I use them on my telescope. I use them when I take the wires off of everything and I clip them. And I'll show you just how easy they are. They come in a range of sizes, and I've got them on my iPhone cables. You just grab them up, clip it around, and it will cinch up to the size you need. These are about a dollar each, inexpensive, but once you get used to having these around, you will love having these cable clamps. Now, everything I'll leave in the description below, some links so you can get an idea of what all these things are but there are lots of sizes. I've got some really large ones on my extension cores, I've got some medium sized ones on my USB cables, and then I have the micro ones on my um, iPhone cables and such. So these clamps, there's some more little tiny ones, a must have for every astro photographer, all right? So let's add these to our stock, gotta have it. Next item that I really love to have, and it's something you probably don't expect or think about, but everybody needs a good set of silver Sharpies. Now, why silver? Well, because they can write on all of our black gear. You know, we find that perfect sweet spot for the balance of our telescope, and you don't want to hunt for that every single night. Well, you make a mark on it, and you know where to line things up. Silver, really great, and you can pretty much remove all of this with a little bit of alcohol on your gear, okay? So silver Sharpies, second item, must have inexpensive for your stocking. Every astrophotographer needs levels, bubble levels. Generally they come in packs of two, they're not real expensive. You drop them on your tripod, level everything out. And you know what? I'm constantly misplacing them, so I have them everywhere. So get you some bubble levels. Number three. Item number four. Now you're gonna love this for the winter time. A set of hot hands. These are those disposable hand warmers, but you know what? They're not only great for warming your hands or dropping in the bottom of your sleeping bag to keep warm. If you take one of these and a rubber band, you can attach these to the end of your lens. Now, I take my Nikon uh, camera out there a lot, and 
and just take some images with it, I wrapped one of these around the lens and I no longer have to worry about dew. And it will also work great on one of these smaller scopes if you don't have a dew heater yet. An inexpensive way to tackle dew and cold. Don't leave home without your hand warmers and a few rubber bands. Every astrophotographer needs a good compass. You know, on our home fields, we know exactly where Polaris is, but on those fields that we're not on normally, we get a little bit turned around and it is helpful knowing exactly which way is north. Now, yes, we can look at the sun and all that and tell us, but a compass is always very handy to have. So add that to your stocking. Everybody needs a good set of Allen keys. Inexpensive, you need metric, you need standard. Every time we go to tighten a screw, this is what we are finding on our telescopes. And as you can see, even with my set, I'm already missing two, so that tells me unless I find them, I could probably use another set of Allen wrenches for Christmas. So let's go back and talk about some cable management again. My favorite thing to have besides those little clips is just find the end here, a good set of Velcro ties. Always handy, and I'm always losing them. I drop them in the grass, I forget them, or they get stuck together, you know. You can never have too many of these because wrapping up cables with these is really nice for keeping things organized. So, get your astrophotographer some Velcro ties. They will love you for it. Another item that we just can't have too many of and I am constantly rearranging the cables on my telescope which means I am always cutting off my little zip ties. Now zip ties comes in all lengths and all colors. I prefer black and I do like it when I get that big can for Christmas every year that has an assortment of sizes of black zip ties. These are great. You go through a lot of them. So Honestly, you just can't have too many of these because you use them every time. So black zip ties, love them, love them, love them, love them. All right, another item that astrophotographers can't have enough of because there's nothing worse than being out on the field and finding one of your cables are broken. And that is USB 3 and USB 2 cables. Get them for your photographer in various lengths and sizes. We like 18 inches, we like three feet, we like six feet. We use them all and we can't have too many of them. I mean, yeah, I do have a drawer full of cables, but you know what? I can always use more. I never have the one that I need when I'm looking for it. So buy them a stockpile of USB 3 and USB 2 cables. They will love you for it. Another item that is very helpful and something that you don't think of very often, but get your astrophotographer a roll of black gaffer's tape. Now gaffer's tape does not leave a sticky residue behind on your items. But why black? Well, I use this whenever I'm out at night and I see one of those little blinky lights on my setup. And usually it's the USB cables that leave that blue glow. And when you're in your dark side, that blue glow is just, oh my goodness. So what do I do? I grab my gaffer's tape, rip a little bit off, stick it on that light and I'm good to go and that blue light is gone and I am not offending anybody on the field. You can't have too much black gaffer's tape. It comes in one inch width, two inch, three inch. I've got a couple rolls of this and I even use the really wide stuff on the lights that come when I open my car doors. They're down low. There's little white lights and I know Toyota had a great idea for them but for me I wish I could turn them off. But since I can't I've used the wide black gaffer's tape over them hides that light so I don't offend anybody when I open my car door at night and it comes off clean no problem at all so gaffer's tape love it all right and the last item this is if you've been keeping track I believe this is item number 11 I had 11 ideas for you guys for your stocking stuffers and that is a red can you see it a red flashlight you can't have too many of these. They come in all shapes and sizes, different manufacturer. Just go online and find them a flashlight that puts off a red light. The folks on the Astro Field will appreciate them more if they are using red light instead of white light while they're doing their imaging. 
Because let's face it, sometimes in the dark, something goes wrong. We need to see what's going on. So if you flash a red light on your gear, you will most likely not offend anybody else on the field and you'll be able to see what you need to see. So item number 11 is red flashlights. You can't have too many of them. And as you can see, I have three. I've also got the headlamp ones, but I really like the handheld ones. I stuff them in all my coat pockets and they're just very, very handy to have. So there you go, guys. That was 11, 11 gift ideas for your astrophotographer. None of them will break the bank. They will all fit nicely in your stocking. Your astrophotographer will love you for thinking about them because, you know, we really are not that hard to shop for. But yes, a lot of our stuff is more expensive than what the average person wants to spend on a Christmas gift. And remember, the gifts are all about, it's the thought that counts. It's, it's the feeling of giving and sharing, okay? So don't feel like you need to go out and buy the most expensive gift to get somebody's love and attention. Sometimes it's those little details that show you've been paying attention to them. And this is what they like and it's, I don't know, sometimes it's those little small gifts. If somebody gave me a roll of tape, yeah, it might seem odd to somebody else, but to me, it tells me that they've been paying attention to me and they care enough to know, I like that stuff. I like cable wraps and Velcros and zip ties and compasses and bubble levels and red flashlights. You know, it doesn't take much to make us happy sometimes. Just remember us, okay? So I hope this helps you and your loved ones out some and you get something out of this. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas, holiday, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and all of those great holidays that are happening right now. Okay, so I wanted to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas from me, Amy Astro, to you out there. Thank you so much for making this such a successful year for me and hanging out. I love each and every one of you. All right, so go out there, catch you some photons, catch some stars, and enjoy yourself. I will see you all in the next video, and until then, I love all of y'all. Smells Robin late in age. Okay.